ready and go. Oh Lord, <laughs> I need a do over. <laughs> There, it's as it's terrified. And today, well, I'm hoping to get this uploaded on today today, but it's Wolfanute. And so I thought I would do the pet tag with my little wolf right here. Yeah, you're a wolf now. Guess what? Oh my goodness. So, you can find these questions online and start question number one. What is your pet's name? This is Boo. Say hello. Don't say hello. Question number two. How did you come up with the name? Does it have any specific significance? We had a litter of kittens and they all had to kill a mockingbird the name. So there was Jem, there was Scout, there was Atticus. And we changed Atticus's name to Coco because, be, because reasons. Cause she was a little, a little brown, a little brown tortoise shell thing. She just looked more like a Coco. How old is your pet? He just turned 12. He just turned 12 in October. Yeah, typical, typical 12 year old boy. When did you get your pet? He was tiny kitten, little bottle baby. Could only have milk. He was so small. What breed is your pet? He's a street cat. And there's no shame in admitting um, his vet papers say domestic short hair, but he's he's just a regular street cat. Yes, yes you are. How old were you when you got your pet? That's question number six, okay. Well, don't wanna give my age on YouTube, but I am today years old now so just minus 12 from that. And that's how old I was when I got, I was in college. That's as much as I'm willing to tell you. Seven, question seven, how did you get your pet? My mom's friend had a neighbor who was elderly and was feeding the stray cats. And one of the cats had kittens under her porch. It was. It was about the same time of year it is now, it was November. And we were afraid that if kittens were just left outside, even with their mother, that they would freeze to death. And so we took the kittens, we tried to trap the mom too and get her neutered and we couldn't trap her, which kind of sucks. I mean, that's the other thing is when you have these cat colonies, you still want the cats to be around cat colonies are important but you want to get as many of them you know chop as many of their balls off as you can so question number eight what is your pet's food what isn't my pet's favorite food he'll eat anything he eats a lot of stuff he's not supposed to eat but he'll eat Everything. Yeah, you are not fussy. Number nine. What is your pet's favorite game? I don't know. What's your game? What games do you like? You like chew on fingers and you like roll around and you like all the toys that you knocked under the couch. Yeah. Yeah, that's his favorite game, is knocking toys under the couch. It's your favorite thing to do together. And we just hang out. You know, we just hang out and play. He sleeps in my bed. He's got his own bed. He's got a couple of his own bed around the house, but... This guy's like Velcro. He just wants to like sit and hang out with me all day. 
and I feel bad that I have to leave him to go to work, but his food is expensive. Come on, dude. Question number 11, do you go outdoors? If yes, what is your favorite place to go together? Um, when we lived in the house, we used to go out into the yard together or my bedroom for a while was on the second floor. So he would come out onto the roof with me or uh, like, you know, so the roof was like kind of flattish over, over the back porch. And so I used to hang out out there and I would leave the window open so I didn't like lock myself out. <laughs> and so he would kind of creep out with me and just sit and read. Well, he, he couldn't read. He, he doesn't know how to read, but I would sit out there and read. Um, but we don't, since we moved to the apartment, there's not any like outdoor space for us, which kind of sucks. I'd love to start getting him into a harness and like having him walk on a leash. It's winter now. Maybe that's a good time to start training him to do it. I, I don't know. Number 12, what is a bad, bad habit that your pet has? Eating plastic. Why? Why do you do that? Hmm? Question number 13, what is the best thing about your pet has? What is the best thing about your pet has? Has anyone ever gone as far as to do what to make more like? Who wrote that question? Uh, what is the best thing about my pet? I think that's what they're trying to get at. What isn't the best thing about my pet? He is, he's great. He's wonderful. He is so sweet. Even when I take him into the vet's office, and we're going to get to that a little bit later because we have to go like semi-regularly to the vet's office, but he's really sweet to the people at the vet's office too. Um, once he gets to know someone, he is just the perfect little angel who just wants to cuddle with you. And, you know, I'm really proud that that's how he is because I raised him like that. Oh geez, that was that was a very loud noise. You all right, dude? You heard that? Question number fourteen: What is the naughtiest thing your pet has ever done? Can't think of anything. I mean, he just gets into like normal cat mischief sometimes, like. You know, he'll dig in the plants, or... That's about it. You know, he digs in the plants. He tries to eat plastic. <laughs> That's like the worst thing. Um, yeah, what... N number 15, what is the funniest memory involving your pet? That's another real tough one, because there's a lot of... I mean, he does a lot of funny stuff, like... Okay, so every month I get this box of like cleaning supplies and household stuff and tampons and whatever, like, you know, just general dry goods. And I get a box of that from this company called Grove, which is eco-friendly products. They carry all that. So one of the things is that since they're eco-friendly, they also package their stuff in eco-friendly packaging so they don't use like bubble wrap or anything like that and instead they use paper like just long swaths of brown craft paper and he is obsessed with that paper so I'll put it down on the ground and he gets down like he's just hunching over it <laughs> you know he's doing all his little he's like a wild animal he does he's he reminds me of a wild animal that's a funny thing that he does? That is an example. He obviously does more funny stuff. He's just, he's a little goofball. I love him. 
Question number 16. What is your best memory involving your pet? I don't know. The feeling of relief at the end of every vet's visit when we go in and then at the end they say, oh, his blood work is good. Like, because I get major anxiety about that every time we go in. I don't know. But I guess that segues very nicely into question 17. What is the hardest thing about being a pet owner? You'd think that it would be like, I don't know, the litter box or the fact that he tries to eat plastic. <laughs> Goddamn, he does. But no, it was when he got sick. That was the hardest thing because I was so scared that I was going to lose him. And, you know, he's my best friend. And he was just getting so skinny. And then one day he would just, he just hid under my bed. And because at first I thought he was just getting skinny because he was stressed out about moving, but then he hid under my bed and I was like, you know what? You know what, we have to go in. You don't hide. You're not a hider. You know, there's no loud noises, there's nothing scary, and yet you're hiding. We're, we're going to the bat. And I thought he was, like, incurably ill, which, and it turns out he still is. He's got an overactive thyroid, but we're treating it with medicine. We're doing really good with the medicine. And there's um, a radiation treatment that I'm thinking about trying for him, but that would mean, it would be expensive first of all, but I think I can just eat that cost. That's, that's fine. Um, it would mean boarding him at the vet's office for a week, and that's the part that kind of worries me because he's never stayed away from home before. I've never had to board him anywhere and that would maybe stress him out a bit too much. Like every time I've gone on vacation, I've always either, well, I've always lived with family, but even if I didn't live with family, there'd be someone who could, you know, pop in and check on him. And if I did this radioactive iodine, then I would have to leave him at the vet's office for a week, but and he got sick. I was so scared. And I still get kind of nervous, like, every time I go into the bats to do his blood work. But that day that I took him in, I was just, like, I was breaking down. I had lost a kitty years and years ago. He had, he had a lot of health problems, like, his entire life. But, you know, he had kidney disease. He had deformed kidneys. And... That was what I was thinking is, you know, I'm, I'm going to lose another kitty, but you see her, you're here, you know, you're here, and that, that was that, and so we're doing medicine, we've got a really good vet who is, you know, he's nice, I like going there, he's really calm and really, I mean, the man's a scientist, so <laughs> he wants to solve these problems. And, you know, my cat's not scared of him. And he's not scared of the staff at the vet's office. That's always a plus. You know, he's not stressing out when we go there. It's usually just me. It's usually just me who's freaking out. But, yeah. I have no idea where my camera cut off, so I'm going to start with question number 18, which is, what is the most rewarding thing about being a pet owner? And I think the most rewarding thing is, like, watching them, like, integrate themselves into your life, and he'll become a part of your household. Like, yeah, this guy, I got him when he was a tiny kitten, so I also got to watch him, like, grow and... get bigger but not that much smarter, all that, but even if you adopt a pet who is an adult, you are watching them become a member of your home because they go from being this 
shelter animal or they go from being an animal that is used to living into someone else's house and now they're living at your house and they're shy at first but they get used to you and they start to love you and you become pals and even my goldfish as well like watching him grow over the past two and a half years that I've gotten him <laughs> Like little Ryu, he used to be just a tiny little pet store goldfish who didn't know anything about anything. Like, he's twice as big now, and it's hard to tell with fish, but like, he swims more excitedly when I have my hand, like, by his jar of food when he knows he's getting fed. Um, now he knows now when this guy or when Effie get too close to the to the fish tank he'll know when to hide and he didn't he didn't know that before because <laughs> because he's a fish um but with cats it's like they become a part of your home like our other cat Effie my brother's cat she was just a stray that was living outside and she was she might have been around people before, she acts like she was friendly around people, but she wasn't used to living in a house. And watching her get used to living in a house was, you know, really amazing. And now she's like, she's just the queen of this place, <laughs> you know? You know, she just, she runs it. She tells us what to do. Number 19, does your pet have a nickname and what is it? He is Boo, he is Goober, he is Meat Brick, he's just a sweet little baby. And who's my babies? Who's ignoring me right now? Enough talking. More eating. Um, well, we've got lots and lots of nicknames for him to the point where he might not even know his real name. Um, so if I want to call for him, I have to just whistle because <laughs> he responds to that, but yeah, you're a good boy. You're a pretty boy. Yes, you are. Who's my little lion? Who's chewing on me? Question number 20. Have you taught your pet any tricks? If so, what? Um, well, he comes to me when I whistle for him. Not when I call his name, but when I whistle, he'll, he'll run to me. Um, he can also sit on command, which is something that we've been working on for this past year since I've been having to give him medicine twice a day. And also because I worry about him getting bored when I'm at work. You know, he's not, he is by far not the brightest creature on earth, but I still worry about him getting bored, so I've been trying to teach him just little things. So he can set, um, he can high five sometimes. We've got all sorts of toys around that like dispense little treats if you knock them over, so he knows how to get treats out of out of the toys if you knock them over, or the the paper towel tubes that I tape together and put the treats inside. He knows how to fetch the treats out of those. You know, just basic stuff, just to keep him busy, and keep his mind active. Yeah, both those brain cells. Give me five? No. Give me five? Gilbert, give me five? Oh, you're not gonna do it if the camera's on you? That's fine. It's fine. But yeah, he is the best cat. I could not be happier with him. Like, he's just perfect and everyone's gonna say that about their cat, but this one is mine. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching and happy Wolfenoot and I hope to see you guys again soon. Okay, bye. He gets all the foods. And he eats them. He's a good boy. Crunch, 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 crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. 
Yeah, she took her away. Yes, yes. Hey. How much stuff can I put on you before you get mad and run away? Like, can I put this tiny unicorn on you? What about, what about this coaster? <laughs> the coaster is what did it. <laughs> that was the tipping point. Oh, oh baby. You're such a good baby. I love you. Yeah, I do. Got it. Oh, where'd it go? It's on the floor. Okay. I guess it's done. Get a cup away. Get a cup away. <laughs> a little kitten. A little kitten. That's how he likes to sit on the couch. Hey, hey. No bites. No bites. I know you love to chew on people. You love to chew. Get your mouth. I think we need to get you more toys. To find you some toys. We're snake. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Is that what you want? Your snakes. Snakes. Oh. So you like your snakes? Yeah. Like your paws? <laughs> Such a funny boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. What are you doing? Okay. Look at you moving around like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hello.